the whole kitchen con thing i did leave to to karen she watched film like crazy on the posing teams hitters and weaknesses stuff so i usually tried to uh i just stayed in my clear through the whole time not really worrying about any of that um i would i would put a lot of trust in my catcher too i kind of she she would tell the the coach like hey she's changing she's getting up she's getting back she's moving this way she's moving that way that's what Tori and I talked about that the other day. Yeah. Uh, Megan, yesterday, the girls that were hitting the screwball inside, were they scooting off the plate? I don't even Those are things that we, we've got to work on. We, I've got to know if she's moving off the plate. And now I mean, tell tell the pitchers, if, the, if, if we're getting the girl with the screwball up under her hands and she scoots off the plate, I want you all to listen to this, you pitchers. So basically, Shelby, where she stands, my, this is how I would look at it. My home plate is moving to her. So it's really not there anymore. Of course, I would still want to call, get a strike on the outside corner. But like her inside pitch is like chalk. Maybe even more. Like it's like in on her. So basically, you're pitching to the hitter, not really the plate anymore. Because that inside, good inside pitch on a girl that's normal in a batter's box is fatty to her. Do you, do you pitchers understand what she's saying? When they move, you don't throw to the plate, you throw to them. You never throw it. You still throw it up under her hands and she's going to swing at it. Yeah, good hitters are usually pretty aggressive. Um, There's one thing I learned 